still checking in the place still cold Moving in the way, no place, no snow Straight chilling with my niggas and shiver Thinking about South Lake, no summer Alright, so since these videos are coming out after Like in a long time, probably <laughs> Um so uh, I guess what we're, we can reveal that GS is doing a 14 and we're just looking at the intake here and I'm going to build a plate with little plenums and then I'll go forward. That's sick. That would be cool. And it's so windy here, it pushes trailer backwards and off the plate here and <laughs> The wind pushed his pickup truck into the snowbank. That's pretty fucked. Hi, right, Corey. Hi, how you doing? Oh, hi, Dave. How's it going? Got one Lexus there. Got another Lexus over there. And then we have the bad boss. Is he the bad boss? He's the bad boss. He's a little the bad boss today. He's a little bit in pieces, but you know. He's still cool. Here's Pizarski's key to. Holy Grail is what it is. You'll see. You'll see. So we finally got the truck pinned up to the trailer, and we got the engine. This, this is just the mock-up. It's eventually gonna get sleeved and everything. So that's not the engine's gonna run this summer. That's next summer with the high horsepower. Yes. But yeah, we're, <laughs> we moved it up the hill on the jack because Canada. Because, because Canada. Because oh, yeah. And now because we're going to move the truck out of the way. And then we're going to take the S14 and get it ready in there to work on. Okay. Corey. You. Grab it. We got to pull it. We got to pull it there. We got to pull it over there. Ah! <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. Okay. I think that should be good. Plus 10. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is it filming? It's filming. Do it. Da -da -da. Dum, dum, da dum. Dum, Probably. Oh, there you go. And then dubstep beep here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Hi, Felicia. Look, look, look. Look, Felicia. Not by Felicia. It's not by Felicia. It's half Felicia. Half Felicia. Half Felicia. Got diffies. Damn. Look, look, look. Here you come. No. Thank you. For sale. For sale. Four hundred dollars. Never abused. Facts. Brand new. Oh, look. You guys see that? You guys see that? You know where that's from? Falcon one. That's it. Sweet. Competition level babes. Wow, it's, it's packed in there, right? Alright, so this used to be a Falcon Tire S14, and check this out. You wanna spin the wheel, buddy? Damn! And then you're right! Go, 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 go! go, go, go. <laughs> That's sick, dude. Fail. All right, so I've just been figuring out some stuff on uh, GS's S14 build here. It's like the rad setup, and uh, right now it was all made for a Jay-Z going that way, but we're going to be swapping it this way. And uh, the lines, these little heater lines used to go on the other side, but now we're going to pass them here. we got to get rid of this little uh, indentation. <laughs> Kids, we're ready. don't try this at home. All right. Nice sound, though. It's like music. <laughs> there you go. You want to run that corn, eh? <laughs> I would love to run that corn and all that. That E92 Ignite Red. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Okay, this is...
this is my oil pressure, I think. <laughs> and this is, I don't remember. Go figure it out. It's easier on the engine than the car. Because currently, I am the engine. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think it's my rad fan. No, rad fans on the other side. I figured out. What's up, dudes? It's been a while. Um, actually, I mean, kind of a while. I've been filming in and out. Um, been really busy with stuff. Family matters. Uh, with the girlfriend, my dad, and all that. Uh, basically, my dad had cancer, and he's been healing it. Uh, doing the radiation stuff, that's all done. He just got operated, so that took a lot of uh, my mental power and uh, yeah other stuff hmm maybe I shouldn't say anything right now but if you want you can go on uh, Piston Head Productions podcast where I reveal something that I'm not gonna say in this video but you can go check it out don't forget to listen through all of it download it you can pick it up on Shout Engine or I believe on iTunes if I'm not mistaken I just have the podcast app on my phone iPhone and uh, I download it there so what have we been up to? Um, we did get a bit of work on GS's S14. So let's show you guys that. So this car used to belong to Falcon Tire. It's the Falcon Tire S14 that became the Hankook Tire S14 uh, with Robbie Nishida. It's Robbie Nishida's old S14 uh, when he f drifted in Formula Drift USA. I don't remember the years. Um, so it used to be a Zanke. He converted it to a cookie, I believe. <laughs> I'm not really good with body kit. I think this is a ridge line or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, I think it's definitely a bit wider than my old S14 up front. Maybe I'm not sure. I had massive spacers. Uh, first thing that we did on the car, actually, we'll go here. This car is equipped with a rear mount rad. As you guys can see, rear mount rad. We got the. Inlets going, bringing some air there. We have a huge fan, fuel cell. It's all tube cage. Um, the car's pretty bare right now. It definitely had some kind of like NASCAR box or whatever, because that's uh, you can see all the tunnel with all the linkage was probably going there, and then it was there, and then anyways, he probably had a side shift and then went to a center shift. This car also belonged to uh, Francis Doyon who now drives the blue S15 with, powered by, I think it's a Massworks or some, some bullshit V8. Um, it used to have the coolant rear mount rad hoses going through there, as you can see, right there. And then it would go into there. So GS really wanted to make this car his and we decided that because um, this car was left-hand drive and I had converted my Lexus right-hand drive and his he's always dri he's always drifted right-hand drive he just feels comfortable that way we both have our sim setups as right-hand drives so it'd just be simpler if we just made it right-hand drive so to do that this one was actually super easy because it came already with a little plate there that had a carrier bearing so it had a little carrier bearing, so we measured out where we needed to go. So we drilled a big hole through the firewall, put the carrier bearing, bolted up with some bolts I had. So we gotta chop this little triangle thing off and weld it to the other side, or build another one, doesn't really matter. We also have to put a seat in here to get the steering wheel uh, as center as we can. We also went to Ottawa, and we went to Ottawa and we picked up a right-hand drive S14 steering rack. It seems like it's going to bolt up right into the S14 uh, subframe with no modification whatsoever. I'll probably put that carrier bearing on the outside just to give it a little bit more uh, nice finish. We're also going to be blocking off that hole, that hole down there, this hole, this hole, that hole. We're going to be blocking a bunch of holes. Um, to do this swap properly, there are a couple options that we could choose from to make the uh, pedal setup. So I do have an Evo 7 gas and clutch pedal that are on the same one But I think it's just gonna be easier if we do uh, Willwood clutch pedal Willwood brake pedal and then probably a gas pedal from any any car really I have a Lexus laying around we could probably use that The other thing we picked up is this nice right-hand drive s14 dash 
So, and it's in mint condition. So it came with the center console, which is pretty rad. Um, we're gonna try and get it to work, since GS is gonna have this whole thing, and uh, I actually have, I actually picked up another parts uh, Lexus, which I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the center console out and try to get a center console on this one too. Should be pretty rad. As for the engine, we're not revealing exactly what we're putting into it right now. All I can say is there's one on the floor right here. It's the mock-up engine. And we're gonna be going to pick up the new engine quite shortly. But it's gonna be sick. It's gonna make choo-choo noises. And it should be pretty high powered. Actually, GS already has his turbo. He's not missing much. Let's just say he's like a lot of money into this car and doesn't actually have the engine currently, which is funny. A little update on the CD009 transmission adapter thingamajiggy that I've been pretty much making. Um, I finally, okay, so I had all the bolt holes for the 4G63 and the CD009 mapped out. I knew how they were gonna mate together. Um, so the last thing I needed to do was find the offset of the crank to the engine block mounting point. So uh, I did that and then I figured out where the uh, splines are in relation to the bell housing. And let's just say it's not looking good. So, uh, you can see that the splines are way the hell in there. So, just to get you in perception here, this is where the splines start. Yeah. And then the clutch uh, would stick out not much. The, the <clears throat> so we're roughly an inch short of the top, like the top of my clutch disc. If I have a 3 8 adapter plate, uh, we fall one inch of the top of the splines So we'd be like roughly here. I believe Yeah, something like that we're like an inch away from the top of the splines so Even even if we machine this down flat. I don't think we'd be able to do it I'll have to measure And that's just the adapter plate and milling down this I'd have to see how much I can take off um Honestly, I think safely you can take off like this much. It's like seven centimeter, uh, se seven millimeters, I believe you can take off, which just is not going to get us here. So, so what I would have to do is build a crank adapter spacer for the flywheel. So there's a couple options we could do: is we can do a spacer that bolts to the block, and then a spacer that bolts to the spacer that then you bolt your flywheel on and might as well put a 240SX complete or an SR20 flywheel uh, clutch and pressure plate. So that's more money again. I'm like, damn it, it's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be Mitsubishi flywheel, Mitsubishi pressure plate and have the 240SX disc in the middle. Um, so there is another option and that is to pick up a 4G69 or 4G64 manual transmission and use the bell housing. So, <clears throat> we chop the bell housing like the Collins adapter along this line here, take this all off, so now we have access to the whole interior. So, so you remove the input shaft cover, take that off, and now, so you put the 4G69 bell housing here, you can even mill it down. And I would build a round plate that would bolt to the, where the uh, input shaft bearing holder thingamajiggy would be. So that, so this thing here wouldn't exist anymore. You weld the new plate that you made that bolts onto the interior to the 4G69 bell housing. And then, once you do that, then you can definitely help out the spacing. We can definitely get this like pretty, like we, we can definitely get that bell housing like here if we wanted to easily. <clears throat> and then we'd probably have to uh, chop this a bit also because this sticks out like a fair bit. So I'm looking for a transmission right now. Um, I found one, it's 300 bucks. I'm like, dude, really like no one needs these transmissions. 300 bucks. I sold one like a couple years ago for 150 bucks. I should have fucking kept it. <sighs> it's like one of those 150 gains, but you lose 150 because now I gotta buy one. 
<sighs> Anyways, so those are the couple options I have. The other thing I was thinking is um, stop complicating my life with trying to put a CD009 because it is quite a large transmission. The other option is to use this J160 transmission that I have. It's Toyota Alteza. It actually comes stock in a Lexus in Japan. There's this cool little website called Lexibreak in Ireland. And what they actually do is they mill down the bell housing and they weld on a plate to have, uh, that accepts a JZ. So you can bolt a J160 transmission directly to a 2JZ uh, using a W58 clutch kit and it also comes with the right throwout bearing. So whatever I do is definitely gonna need a custom throwout bearing. That's no problem. I could do that at work. Um, the measurements actually on the J160 are pretty similar in input shaft length and splines and all that uh, compared to the R154 that I had, CD, it would definitely be weaker than the CD009, but I could sell the CD009 and make some money back. And I already have the drive shaft yoke, and I already have the drive shaft ready to go in the car anyways. So I'm thinking that might be an option too. Thinking about it, thinking hard. Because you can pick up these uh, trannies pretty cheap actually. So, um, you can actually get this full, the beam swap with the transmission. I paid a thousand bucks. I think you can still get them for between a thousand and a thousand four hundred. So what I would do is I'd pick up, I would sell the CD009 for a thousand. So I, I would work it out to get a beams full complete swap with a spare tranny. So that's two trannies plus the beams. And then I would have three beams transmissions. And there's a dude out in Alberta, I believe, or Manitoba. He has a 600 horsepower beams and an Alteza and drifts it all day long. So he hasn't had any problems with it. I know these will take around 400, 450 wheel reliably. Kind of depends on what clutch you have, I guess. So that would be the probably the cheapest route is you machine the bell housing a bit. You weld on a adapter fitting that's going to fit the 4G63. You bolt that up, put a, a Toyota clutch disc, custom throwout bearing, and what would be cool with that is I would have a full beam swap to put in my other IS300 that I just picked up. So I would have the money from the CD09 to have the full beam swap, and I would have a spare tranny um, in case something happened. So I just have to make two adapter plates and whatever the bell housing you just take it off and you put it on the new one and then like finding these I think you can find these transmissions for like 250 bucks or 200 bucks they're pretty cheap actually people don't know do not know what they have so I definitely have to get cracking on the 4g63 I gotta get uh, so I'm gonna be ordering some uh, springs and valve retainers upgraded uh, I think they're manly off RTM racing we're gonna be building a bigger intake manifold. Basically, basically we're gonna be chopping this, keeping the flange, and maybe getting a different uh, throttle body, and just building like a big cone to get more <clears throat> to get more uh, air volume in there. Because uh, getting it tapered off, as you can see, it gets smaller towards the end. That might not have helped my horsepower. But yeah. A lot of decisions to do, a lot of decisions. I think I'm gonna take the J160, put it on the bench here, and just measure out the transmission, see if I can build a plate that bolts to the 4G63, and if we weld it on the J160, if, uh, cause like, <clears throat> I would say, oh, let's do it with the uh, CD009, let's chop the flange off and weld the thing. But the problem is, the 4063 uh, bolt holes fit inside this hole right here. So even if I did that, um, there'd be no way to bolt it. Because let's say this is where the bolt holes are. Whoop, I'd have to like cut the transmission to like here and then like weld the big cylinder. Anyways, I'm not doing that. But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because this would have been like the last transmission I would need, but...
It wouldn't be drifting if it wasn't last minute and it wouldn't be drifting if I didn't have some kind of problem. So, so I do have a couple of solutions with that. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I guess that's it for now. So I'll close this video out here. I hope you guys enjoyed Pizarski being in the video. He's actually gone back to China already. He was here for not even a week and he's already gone. So I'll be seeing him in a month and we'll be working on the secret project probably, hopefully, maybe, sometime. Let's hope. My boy needs to have some fun in his life. Right now all he's doing is working, 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 paying off his cars, paying off his debt and having fun in other countries. But when he comes back, I think it's gonna be fun time. So that's it for this video. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay.